And functioning. If you haven't watched previous videos or if you're here new for the first time, let me leave the play playlist for our California trip down below. You need to go check that out, especially second to last video and the last video <laughs> to understand why that feels so good to be showered, dressed, have makeup on. My hair is technically done. This is not as done as it's gonna get. I will take it down from that little ponytail. I set the curls with the mousse like you saw and then they kind of build up as it kind of dries and then I like to bring it down when it's still wet hot outside it's not gonna be hot be hot outside today it's gonna be a nice 75 degrees it's gonna be so good out there so that I kind of have slightly damp hair when I go outside But it feels really nice to do normal stuff. It feels nice to get up, get dressed, put makeup on. I brought laundry down, stuff to work on at my desk. I have not, in fact, unpacked any further than you saw the other day. Literally have not unpacked anything but my makeup because I did my makeup today. That's it. So I am not, see, I'm not all the way better yet. I still have vertigo, still get dizzy. And this motion right here, of looking down and moving down. That's like my death trap right now. So reaching down, looking down to grab a shirt, looking up to grab a hanger, putting it on the shirt, hanging it up, looking up again. I don't wanna try that yet. So I'm trying to do the things that I need to do today. I'm trying to be downstairs with the kids more, I'm trying to like go a little bit slower because Abby needs to go to Target or a store to buy a present for a friend's birthday tomorrow. I need to be intentional with what I get done and what I use my energy for today so that I can be able to drive and function a little bit more than I have for the past four days. And yesterday I tried to get up to go drive Kaylee to a friend's house and that was not happening. I spent all day in bed again yesterday. I forgot to, sorry, this stuff needs to soak because no one knows how to rinse their dishes. That stuff all has to soak. I'll explain that really quick. So I had vertigo on our vacation, for those who haven't watched that video. I explain it more. I'm actually gonna go sit down and finish filming that video because I could not film any further once I got vertigo. So I'll explain everything in that video. But yesterday, got home. Two days ago, we got home from our vacation and I felt great. The travel went great. And then I woke up yesterday morning, about 9, 9.30, when Jason got up to go to work. He slept in because he was tired. Everyone else was passed out asleep because we got home at midnight and I stood up and I got dizzy again. And I thought, oh, I need to take my medicine. But I was dizzy enough that I knew I probably you know, wouldn't be able to walk downstairs. And I realized that my medicine and the food that I'm supposed to take it with and a drink of water were all downstairs. And everyone is passed out cold, exhausted. I had no way of getting my medicine until 11.30 or 12 o'clock when Chelsea woke up. And she went and got me a breakfast bar and a drink of water, some toast, ice in my water. <sighs> so I was four hours late for taking my medication and it did me in. I mean, it, it didn't undo everything 
for sure. I'm on a steroid, but it definitely like didn't help my recovery at all yesterday. So it's kind of stuck back in bed. Sorry, I'm just decluttering as I talk. I don't like to not be productive, if you haven't noticed from my channel so far. Hang on, noisy air conditioning. So I was stuck back in bed, had to have the kids bring me meals. I have laundry to do. Anyway, so kind of lost yesterday, which was kind of frustrating. Something wrong with my camera. So I lost the day that was really bad. I don't know, it was just frustrating because I knew how much I needed to do. Basically everything I'm doing today, like probably two loads of laundry there. Abby, can you bring down the load of whites that are on the stairs? Load of whites that are on the stairs. I just couldn't do any of it and it was frustrating and working off the Wi-Fi in my bedroom is not, was not good so I couldn't get, even when I could focus on my computer screen which took about four or five hours to be able to get a focus straight forward. I couldn't because I didn't have Wi-Fi. <sighs> it was so dumb. I just, I couldn't, but I couldn't get downstairs. Somewhat back on track today. I'm not going to jibber jabber much more. I'm going to go get some stuff done. Sorry, I'm doing <laughs> uh, soap and it's not coming out. I think this little nozzle needs to, there we go. I heard the, there we go. Air release. So I'm going to load this um, laundry, get this going. We were able to wash all of our laundry while we were on vacation. So this is literally just two days worth of laundry since we've been home and the day we were traveling, like our clothes from the day we traveled, basically. I think probably just like one outfit from when we were, you know, before we actually left. So I'm gonna start this load here. Let's see that motion, oh, guys. This is why I have to take it easy because this up and down motion making me dizzy. So I have to be very intentional with what I do. Laundry is fine because I can do that simple motion, be dizzy for a second, and then let that do its thing. Okay, what am I doing next? Breakfast. And then I think I'm gonna sit down at my desk. I have this video, it's not uploading it, and I've been trying for four days to get it to upload. Also, do you know what costs $25 at the Vegas airport? That was our meal. Uh, what would it be, Tuesday night? So, that's lovely to admit. It's not chaotic. Josie and Ashley are already out playing with their friends. Ashley's bike broke, her tire is popped. So if I can try and find a patch kit at Target today, that would be wonderful. These are the, some of the things that I want to be intentional on trying to do today, because I know how much Ashley likes to be on her, being on her bike and unpacking my bags can wait. Hang on, oatmeal. She really enjoys being on her bike. And so I want to get that fixed for her because I don't need to unpack my clothes. I don't need to put away my bathroom supplies. <laughs> I don't need to do that. But she needs to be on her bike playing with her friends and keeping up with Chelsea. I'm trying to save my energy for the things that I need to and be intentional today. So that's kind of what I'm doing. Plus I have to film a video explaining all this vertigo stuff. So <laughs> I've got to be a little bit more focused. Back in a minute. <laughs> Here's a lunch for you, because I never see you. Mm. You both need to eat all of that lunch. Fine. You understand? Kay. Are you making a movie? Mm. Having fun? Okay. Eat that lunch. Tell Chelsea. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Come here. Come here. Show me your hair again. Turn around. You did chalk in your hair? Oh, uh, yeah, it was chalk, um, chalk hair. Hair chalk? It's cute. Okay, go have fun. down so we are just making sure that we can log into them before we drive away from the school and then I think we'll be set with laptop number one three more to go and now we wait in line for the high school uh, laptop luckily they're both in the same not the same parking lot they're the schools are literally right next to each other and then I've got Abby here um, she needs to get a birthday present and I need to get a few things at Target and I need a cold beverage man I've been drinking my water, but it's already gonna be three o'clock and I haven't had lunch or caffeine yet. And I'm starting to feel a headache like right there. So 
We're gonna do this, then we'll get two more laptops for the kids at the elementary school, and then go to Target. Back to school is coming up. I think we have four days. We start next Tuesday, and today is, what day is today? I don't even know, it's Thursday? It's insane, I don't even know what day it is anymore. I think we start in five days. It's like Wednesday. No, it's not. It's Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> See, you didn't even know. Um, anyway, it's crazy. All right, we have computer number three and computer number four logging in. The Kaylee's computer took forever to get. So, as soon as we log in, we are free to go. Also, we've literally been in the car, what, Abby, like an hour and a half? I don't even know. I don't know how to log into this. And Kaylee's already asking for a ride home. <laughs> She's like, I'm tired. Can you come get me in like an hour? I'm like, no, I'll come get you when we're done because I'm not coming back out. Just life of a mom taxi, I guess. What you're All right. I think we're done with Chelsea's computer and Abby's doing Ashley's. And Ashley gets a touch screen. Oh, you can't even see it. They literally see the tree outside. Her screen is a touch screen. So she kind of gets the fanciest one out of them all. All right, you guys. That took us so long to do. Ridiculous amount of time. It is now five o'clock. I think Abby and I left at two. I'm trying to see what our first message was. <laughs> it was it just, I don't even know what was the deal. I mean, all the schools took a while. I'm trying to see what the last. Yeah, I dropped off a lunch to Chelsea and Ashley at 2.07. And it's five o'clock. Three hours to pick up laptops. <sighs> but I don't even know what else we did. Pick up laptops at three different schools and then run into Target. Like I literally got pretzels because I like I haven't eaten lunch. I got pretzels and some face primer and Abby got a birthday present for her friend and I looked for a bike patch and they didn't have one. And that's all we've done. So I got Cafe Rio on <laughs> our way home. I was like, I'm starving. I don't even have time to come home and make a salad or something. And that's not even gonna fill me up. So and I ran out of my water probably like an hour, hour and a half ago. And maybe you think it's weird that I sit here at the computer to watch a show. I like to watch, uh, I was getting fonts, <laughs> kind of seeing what I was doing. I have a video that is, oh, see that one went fast. That one's the next video. Well, that's before today, but that one is good. But I am going to watch, oh gosh, a little glowy. Not even hot out there. Um, I'm going to watch Netflix. I'm going to, or, I don't know. Maybe we'll do Netflix. Um, so, I'm gonna watch Netflix. There's like a new uh, reality, realty show thing for Nantucket. And I love watching anything in that area. I don't know, I'm weird. And I'm gonna eat my salad. The girls obviously came home. Chelsea and Ashley obviously came home for a second because I can see Ashley's pants on the floor in the bathroom. Um, they just play at their friend's house and they run around and go to the park and have a good time. So they're obviously back out and they'll come home hungry for food by probably about an hour. So I'm gonna hurry and eat <laughs> my salad. I had a $10 credit. So really my salad was only $2 as we were going and running around Kaylee suddenly said, I'm tired, I wanna come back home, and I wasn't expecting to have to get her until like 10 o'clock again tonight. Like she, she hung out with her friend, this same friend yesterday until about 10.30. So I didn't anticipate having to go back to get her, and all of a sudden she's like, I'm just tired, I wanna go home. And so I we heard and ordered these salads and went and picked her up and then got the salads, and she got a salad too. So kinda of put me over budget for <laughs> eating out today because I wasn't anticipating feeding someone else. And I wasn't planning on being out as long, so. But anyway, so this is why I watch from my computer in here. It's a large screen, like a TV, and I watch sailing videos when I'm watching it from my computer or the TV. But all the kids are out there eating dinner. Well, they're kind of getting dinner, and anyway, we're all kind of eating at different times. Sorry, the noise is probably too much. But, um, so, and I want to just have a quiet minute to watch this kind of a cha show channel on YouTube. Um, I do it here in my office because it's a really good screen but they're just making too much noise out there to watch it on the TV. And if I sit down at the TV, I get too distracted and I will just stay on the couch the rest of the day. 
But here I can watch one or two sailing videos and then I have a whole bunch of editing to do for more videos and a new intro that we just did. I need to add some more stuff to it. Um, so if I'm here at my desk, I get more productive after I watch a show or two. And as you can see, I kind of demolished that salad. <laughs> There's not much left. And I don't have any more of the dressing. So, you know, I'm done with the salad. I put it out there and Jason can eat it. He's on his way home. And, yeah. I just told them I think it's time for bed. And they said no. <laughs> it's 8 o'clock. You're obviously tired. Cozy. What are you eating, Chels? A brownie. Okay, so you've had dinner. Yes. Tired. Faking it if you're not. Okay, bedtime. Wow. I have been working on videos, working on a new intro from, anyway, I've been working on a bunch of stuff since I got home and ate dinner, and Jason's been home. I think he's upstairs, right, girls? The way our vacation time worked out, he took like one extra day off last week, but the way it works out this week is he worked yesterday and today, and he has tomorrow off, because they're back to a normal schedule for this week. So that's a perk. So he's gonna take tomorrow off, and we're gonna give him a haircut and all kinds of stuff. You guys ate the really expensive pretzels from the, the airport. I am ready to call it a night. Do not whole year, or that, not a year but the whole laptop thing kind of did me in today. I'm tired. I didn't get dizzy or anything aside from the headache. I think I'm done. I gotta go fight these kids to go to bed. They're getting good outside activities with their friends while they are on their last few days of school. I was talking to one of the moms today. She's like, I'm kind of in, in denial like that <laughs> summer is over. And I told her, I was like, okay, we need to like, because they have recess time scheduled in for their virtual school. I'll go through some of their schedules once we start back to school. I think we'll try and really stick to uh, recess time and try and get these girls together, even if only for a half hour. I forget how much their recess time is because it would really help them to be able to run outside, get on their bikes, go play, or maybe if, if a vaccine comes out in the next couple months or something, we can actually like have them come inside and play because it will start raining in here. I'm just, I'm worried that they won't have someone to play with as soon as the rain comes because it's hard to decide if we should have kids go into homes right now, so. Right now we have, I think we've only had one or two kids come into our home so far, and vice versa. These guys don't go to anyone's home, but Kaylee and Abby have. I digress. Take care, you guys. We will see you later. We're gonna finish up our last few days of summer. Okay, take care, guys. Good night.